Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to talk about a strategy to learn how to score 140 marks in NEET chemistry. Yes, 140 plus marks, which is nothing but you are planning to answer more than 35 questions correctly in your NEET exams. Let's actually start with the analysis of a few previous year question papers. But before that, take a look at your NEET exam paper pattern, especially for 2019. There will be totally 180 questions from Physics, Chemistry, Botany and Zoology, of which 45 questions will be from Chemistry. So these 45 questions will be coming from first year, that means plus one, and second year or plus two Chemistry. Let me also share the marks distribution of first year and second year Chemistry with you. This is the average distribution of marks from all the chapters of chemistry from both the years plus 1 and plus 2. Whereas 1 refers to plus 1, 2 refers to plus 2. Inorganic chemistry of plus 1 carries 8 questions. Inorganic chemistry of plus 2 carries 8 questions. So totally from inorganic chemistry you are acquiring 16 questions in your exam. And now moving on to organic of first year. On average three questions because in first year organic contribution is very less you just have two chapters one is GOC and other one is hydrocarbons and in plus two there are many chapters of organic chemistry four chapters of functional groups biomolecules chemistry in everyday life and also polymers now from these all organic chemistry chapters, you get 13 questions. These all numbers, people, this is out of analysis of past 10 years pre-medical entrance examination question papers. Since NEET has been started very recently, this chart has been made by observing past 10 year pre-medical entrance test examinations. So these numbers are tentatively correct. But it is not mandatory that from inorganic chemistry, there should be 8 questions coming or something like that. But they are 90% correct numbers. And moving on to physical chemistry. Physical chemistry of first year, that is plus 1, there are 7 questions. And plus 2, there are 6 questions. And now, out of all these, out of inorganic, organic and physical, you tell me which is easiest for you. For many of us, organic chemistry is the toughest part. And followed by physical chemistry, an easier one is inorganic. I agree that inorganic has got a lot of theory inside it, many equations especially in P block elements, many equations to remember. But then other than keeping that memory game aside, if you just compare the toughness of inorganic chemistry to remaining two parts, inorganic is easier. And one more reason behind me saying inorganic easier is, if you observe the questioning pattern in inorganic, organic and physical, organic there is a scope for a lot of creativity you know you could be asked questions in different ways because you have variety of reactants reagents and mechanisms available there but in inorganic questions can never ever come out of the textbook if you are perfect at ncrt for inorganic chemistry it's gonna work with you right so your target has to finish inorganic chemistry if you perfectly finish inorganic chemistry you will be able to address 16 questions, literally 16 questions. But then remember my dear students, when I say perfect, I mean perfect. Being perfect is not just giving a read to NCRT, but in fact acquiring the concepts, memorizing it and revising it at least four to five times from the textbook and also practicing a minimum of 250 questions, a minimum of 250 questions per one chapter of inorganic chemistry. Only then you will get that confidence to address these 16 questions. Done? Now, after killing inorganic chemistry, what is your second priority? I know it sounds a little tough to all of you, but then dear students, organic is not as tough as you assume of. It's really easy and it is really understandable subject if you are strong at general organic chemistry. So your second priority 
is to strengthen your general organic chemistry first. If you are doing so, you will be able to cover questions from this plus one and this will help you also to conquer plus two organic chemistry. So after completing in organic chemistry, if you practice the questions of organic chemistry completely, you will be able to address 16 more questions. So you can choose in between organic chemistry or physical chemistry. But I suggest you to go with organic chemistry because from physical chemistry, there could be numericals which are not very hard to solve. So organic chemistry is what you should focus on, especially right now when you are having four to five months in your hand to prepare completely. Why? Sparing organic chemistry. Literally speaking, the entire organic chemistry can be brainstormed and learned in around 10 to 15 hours, just 10 hours to 15 hours. But only thing is you should have right perspective towards it. You should know how to, how you have to learn it. If in case you need me to make more videos on organic chemistry and how to prepare organic chemistry or teach organic chemistry in 10 to 15 hours, please do let me know in the comment section so that I can help you out. So, if you master inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry, dear students, you are going to target, you are going to address 30 to 32 questions in simple. And now moving on with physical chemistry, you choose between physical chemistry of plus 1 and plus 2. But I suggest you to go with plus 1 because it has got really easy chapters like atomic structure, flow of theory and easy, thermodynamics, just some around 20 to 25 formulae you have to master them then your job is done so physical chemistry of plus one has got really easy and short chapters in comparison with that of plus two in plus two if you look at you have chemical kinetics you have electrochemistry comparatively little heavy chapters so this way if you split your syllabus and go on simplifying and memorizing or learning your job gets easier. For your understanding, let me also share the previous few years analysis of papers with you. Take a look at this. These are the chapters from previous few years and also the number of questions that have been acquired. But as I addressed at the beginning, NEET has been started from 2016. Before 2016, all the papers were of PMT, pre-medical test, right? So these are 1 to 15 chapters and these are 16 to 30 chapters. 30, 16 to 30, these all are the cumulative count of chapters from your plus 1 and plus 2. I guess this analysis will be of great help to you in order to synchronize your preparation and understand the priority. But let me conclude what did we discuss today. Inorganic chemistry is unsparable. Don't ever think of leaving any chapter from inorganic. Reasons, it's very easy to learn and it is very heavy as well as you see this on the screen, right? So guys, I hope this video have been some help of uh, some help to you. If you want more videos of this kind, please do like, subscribe to the channel and also do let me know if you want to make more subject oriented videos like teach organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry or something. All the best everybody. I hope you learn very well and get through need. Good luck.